Hello. We, uh, we came to Eden today to talk to some people about some things. <laughs> yeah. And to get scared half to death. <laughs> and we did not expect what I'm about to show y'all. Look at this. And I'm not even, there's something incredible that you still need to see. Yeah, so we're gonna walk this way. But we're gonna walk this way first. Yeah. Look at this. It's all mudded. Dude. <laughs> look at that door. Yeah, look at that thing. There's a little something we can do over here. Oh yeah. Look at this little ceiling treatment we got going on little, in here. Just a little bit of an accent. Just a little something. Delineate the space. That's pretty. <laughs> what you doing? Checking out the bedroom? Yeah. <sighs> Dude, this is awesome. Okay. Here we go. We're walking to show you what is even cooler. <laughs> this, is, this is incredible. Y'all ready? I don't think they're ready. I don't think they're ready. They're I wasn't ready. ready. You weren't ready. <laughs> I didn't expect this at all. Go over there and get, get yourself get yourself ready. Right, here we go. Whoop. Look at that kitchen. Look at the ceiling. Billy, look at how pretty Billy wrote his name over here. It's on the wall above the window. <laughs> I gotta go see Billy's name. Shout out to Billy. <laughs> uh, appreciate you, Billy. I love it, Billy. Billy did a great job. <laughs> Look at this ceiling, dude. Wow. It's very nice. It is very nice. <laughs> I can't wait till the stone gets on that wall where the range is and around the back. In case y'all forgot, this entire wall from that back corner wrapped all the way around over the top too, right? Yeah. And then down that mm -hmm. wall over there yeah. is all stone, the same stone that's on the outside of the house. Mm -hmm. And on the other side of the fireplace going up. Yeah. This place is sick. Yeah. This place is made me want to vomit sick. <laughs> I want to go in the basement. I can't get over the ceiling. And look, uh, not you, them. It's running straight looking this way, right? Well, because there's so many different angles and stuff in this house, like once you come over here and you're looking like into the, to the breakfast, the way that it comes in at a 45 and dies into that corner right there, dude, it looks so good. Extending the kitchen, looking into that room. Look at that. That. Mm. Ah, appreciate you, Billy. <laughs> How was upstairs? It, it was good. It looks pretty. They finished that first. So, I mean, it just is the exact same, but muddy. Yeah. Okay. Well, now it's time for... You went in the basement already? No, I stopped on the stairs because I was looking at how pretty this delineation looks from the stairs. Well, let me, I'm gonna see how pretty it looks from the stair. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. You know, going with that was such a brilliant idea. Yeah. Thanks, our house. <laughs> yeah, we went, story behind that. We went to our house when we picked out our dining room table and their ceiling in one of their areas was done up kind of like that a little bit. Um, and it made us change our ceiling and our floors. Yes. 
It did. It made it. Yes. We went with the castle look floor and with some ceiling treatment. Theirs was more rustic looking yeah. than that. Yeah. Um, but like I like unhewn. that. Like unhewn. I like that better. It, it makes more sense. Theirs look like reclaimed yeah. barn wood. And that's not your style or really mine. Not at all. So I think that turned out awesome. Into the abyss we go. Yeah. None of this was done last time we were here. Your office opening and everything is the first time I'm seeing it for what it really is. And you're having glass, big glass doors? Yes, ma'am. Go stand in that doorway so we can it's see. It's very, like, this is like three door size. <laughs> three doors down size? <laughs> like. Well, that's three days grace, Superman, right? Yeah. I was about to start singing it. <laughs> If I go crazy, I then know, will you know. still have some sheet rock? <laughs> oh! Uh oh! Wow! <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> oh my god. How? How? How are they finished? <gasps> he moved in before we did. Janae! The camera can still hear me. No, it couldn't. You couldn't. It said you disconnected. Oh no! Yeah. Well, there's a lot of concrete over You're there. You're back. It's a lot of concrete. How about you there. stay around? <laughs> Look at this guy. He moved in. <gasps> no, he's evicted. No, he's not. He's evicted. He's cute. Mm, debatable. You're undebatable. Look, your little lights. It's ready. It's ready for it's, the little oh, lights. Oh, they did yes. put the little. The little you see it's sunken in up there? It's gonna do a ceiling wash. With it's a gonna light do a ceiling it. wash yeah. with the light. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Dude, we are like, we're about to move in next week. <laughs> no, we're not. We're moving in next it's, week. We still have so long to go. We are moving in next week. Me and Janae were talking earlier. I'm very... I'm very sure that we're gonna probably be in in July mm -hmm. and not June. Yeah. No one's told us that. But I'm just setting myself up to have lowered expectations. Look, as long as we yeah. are in here for my birthday, I'm happy. <laughs> September, I'll be happy. Okay. Just so you know. Actually, we need to be in by August 31st. I was going to say, no. We're not in by August 31st. I wasn't going to mention it. I think the bank cancels our loan. And <laughs> we can't even afford this place. <laughs> the wall wash here, too. Look, check this out. That's this was. Sick. These are sunk in, too, because I'm getting a big mural here, which I think we told you this. I can't remember, but shout out to Jihee and Mikey, because I'm going to. Mikey is. Have we talked about Mikey? I don't think we've talked about Mikey. Okay. There's a game called High on Life made by Squanch Games. You may have heard about Squanch. Squanch. And uh, me and Mikey, who is pretty much king of that game, yeah. uh, we became really good friends. King of I, your heart. And it's king of my heart, and I love him. Okay? <laughs> so he's going to, all the art in that game and all the character designs and everything are from his brain. And I want to get him to do me a mural here. And I want him to work with Jihee to come up with something that, you know, because this, this whole house was made possible by the Cartoons Channel. So I want to put it, an homage to it. I don't know exactly how that's going to look, but I want that here in some way. Yeah. And I think it'll turn out awesome. Yeah. And anyway, oh yeah, but those, those little sunken areas are so they can put LED strips and wall wash that so that the mural is lit. Yeah. Beautifully. I'm so excited. Are you? What about this? Oh! No, I'm dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> pee pee. Pee pee? Urinal. Dude, I'm gonna have a urinal. You are gonna have a Is that not the coolest thing that you've ever <laughs> seen or heard? I mean, not for me, obviously. You could get a shiwi and use it. I guess so, but why would I do that? <laughs> I'm curious how this looks painted. This was my idea, by the way. Um, so we'll see if it's a bad idea or not, but this is where my cartoons logo sign's going. And the way that that logo is set up, it uses those tiny little standoffs 
and they're not in a square. They're kind of, there's one up here, one over here. They're all, so I was like, put me a big piece of plywood up here so that I can just screw directly into it. And I don't have to worry about anchors and right, right. I'm just hoping it finishes out nice. I don't know, how, how do you finish it? I guess you probably just mud the crap out of it and sand it down. Whatever, that's their job, not mine. For them to figure out. But anyway, I'll be able to just screw it straight to that, so that'll be pretty. Your office is beautiful. You really like it? Mm -hmm. Oh, you yeah. really like my office? Yeah. I want you to turn that off and come with me for a second. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. <laughs> geese, do you mind? I hate geese. Turns out today is like the most gorgeous day of all time, suddenly, after it was raining all morning. Honey, bring yourself closer so that you can be part of this. Hey, creep. <laughs> yeah, we didn't expect all that to be done today. So surprised. Wow. It was supposed to be another two weeks. A week and a half, yeah. Of mudding and sand. I mean, maybe they're not done. Maybe they still got to do all the little edge pieces and finish around the doors. I swear there was only like two places It where seems I saw. like it's done like it's right like now. One in the closet and one in the basement where the edges weren't done. Everything were, else was done. The cabinet package printout, huge printout was it's in there. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. So, so I, cabinets are going to start very soon. Yeah, I feel like that means that it's going to, you know. That's exciting. Yeah. And every, like I can already see where like the floor trim's gonna go and like they only finish to a certain point because the little trim piece is gonna, I just wanna see the trim on there. It's very simple trim. So it's not like some ornate, whoa, wow. It's like just to fade into the background. It's still whoa, wow, okay. It is, there's very nice. Whoa, wow. But it's not ornate or anything. Not downstairs. Well, enjoy this. Except for those geese. Look at them. Well, those are little wispy woos, is what I like to call those. Look at those wispy woos. Swoop, 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 swoop. They always say the grass is greener on the other side. Oh, it's green. Look at it. There's the other side, y'all. Oh, it's almost goose hunting season. <laughs> I don't think so. Legally, I don't think you should do it. Oh, it's almost time. I'm hunting wabbit. But it's actually geese. It's not geese. It's not at all endangered geese. I'm hunting. Look at this butterfly. I'm hunting. Ha! Huh? Bit. You didn't look at it all. Well, I, you know, I'm not really good at using this thing. Oh. I think I can track a moving object with this oh, thing. I can barely I've... track my steel face. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, uh, we'll we'll keep you updated. But today was pretty awesome. Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. It was. If it wasn't so wet, we'd go ride four-wheelers. Yeah. But I ain't trying to get all muddy. It would be very muddy. Buddy. All right, we'll see you in a couple weeks. Uh, maybe a couple days. I don't know when we're going to see you. Relax. Salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's been a... This, how long has it been since I recorded out here? Probably a, little, a week at least, okay? Been going back and forth with Piedmont Natural Gas about running gas out here. I don't know if you remember me talking about we we're going to do that. They were going to run it all the way down the driveway and then they were like, well, let's look and see because some of these side roads that are off kind of on the sides of our property, they were thinking maybe we can come through the woods. They got to go under a creek to do that. There's a lot of like environmental thing, whatever, whatever. So the initial estimate that they gave like a year ago was, she said it would probably be like 35,000 to run it down your driveway. Okay. I mean, that sucks, but to get gas out here, it was worth it to me because of my other option would be to bury propane tanks out here and that's not free right so there's some cost so i was comparing the costs and thirty five thousand to run that down here it sucks it was a little more expensive but i think uh, over the over the course of my life that would be the better option right so we finally get to the point where an actual estimate comes and like the bill to sign the contract comes through and Instead of $35,000, it's $80,000. Now, instantly, I uh, deleted that email and called the propane people. So they just came out here and looked today. I think what I've decided is I'm going to bury two 1,000-gallon propane tanks. One that sits over by the generator, and it's only for the generator. It stays full until it's needed. Uh, so I don't have to worry about 
the power going out and we're already at half a tank that you know what i mean so just one specifically for that and then another thousand gallon for the house that serves the house and talking to him with the load of the house probably about twice a winter we'll have to fill up but you know it is they put monitors on those things now they know exactly when it's getting low they'll be out here i want to have to even worry about it so that's the plan the reason we haven't i haven't recorded in like a week they were doing the sheetrock then they i guess after they mud they have to wait a certain amount of time for all the mud to cure and dry before they sand it well they got that sanded and they're going to start spraying uh they're going to start priming everything today so they're prepping that they're getting all the windows taped up today's probably be a lot of prep work so I, we would go in the house but there's not there's not anything new in there that you haven't seen it just still looks like sheetrock which looks amazing don't get me wrong today's the eclipse day by the way so uh i don't know if any of y'all are in the path of totality but you're all excited to to watch that and imagine how your ancestors used to absolutely freak when that shit happened. Oops, I can't say that word. They didn't have, they didn't know anything about astronomy. They just thought, well, I don't know what's going on, but we're probably about to die. That's how I feel <laughs> on a daily basis, to be honest. They're, today, they're also finishing up the HVAC in the, uh, the bonus room above the garage to get that all buttoned up so we can finally get our final sign off so we can get that insulated and closed up so we're cruising the last thing i'm gonna do today is we're gonna go over here to the building and this may put us to enough footage for a video but we're gonna go to the building because they got all the lights hooked up inside and did they get the outside lights up i don't think so not yet but the garage doors are working i mean i forgot all about that we gotta hurry <laughs> All right, this is with no lights on. Look how bright it is in here already. Just these little bit of, little bit of windows here. But y'all ready for this? Boop. Check that out. Now look, that ain't bad for eight little lights. I mean, look at that, come on. But kind of amazing. Speaking of amazing, this is the first time I've touched this button. Y'all ready? I missed the light. How do you open this damn thing? Ooh boy! Y'all can't see it, but I was grinning ear to ear while that was coming up. It was a little slow, if I'm honest. I mean, it's a big door, big old heavy thing, but battery replacement suggested. Let's see how this quick this one is. It worked, but it's, I swear it sounded like it was struggling. My doors are open, y'all. Look at this. Immediately, I can feel a breeze coming through here. One thing I got to try to find, somewhere in here, these guys. I bet these don't have batteries in them. These little clickers. Never mind. That worked just fine. Okay, so that's that door. That must mean that this is. <laughs> Never mind. It opened that door again. Stop. Close. Okay, so number two. Yes, sir. It's number three. <laughs> okay, so it's number three on that remote. Is it number three on both remotes? Okay, here's the here's the first remote again. Nice, closed. And then, dun 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 dun. Love it. Love it. I'm not sure what this is. Is this a lock? It's gotta be a lock, right? Let me close it. Oh! Did you see that shoot out? Okay. 
Pretty sick, so you can't pry it open. Brilliant. Brilliant. Now, if I don't know much about garage doors, but I'm feeling like these springs might need to be adjusted on this door because that motor sounds like it's a lot slower than that one. Not slower, but you know, it feels like it's working a lot more. It's okay. Um, I don't know what else is going on out here for the, for the foreseeable future. I know they're going to finish wiring this. They're actually running. You can see the, uh, the conduit over here on the ground. My dad said this as a joke and then decided he was serious. You see this running out here? Wait a minute. You're not looking where I'm looking. What the hell is this gimbal doing? What have I done? I'm sorry. Give me one second. All right. I fixed it. I don't know what this was doing. Anyway, look. This conduit right here. So my dad was kidding at first, but he said, you're going to have to run me a 100 amp circuit over here on this corner so that I can pull my camper up here and park it out here sometimes and have power to hook into. <laughs> so we're gonna do it. Cause you know, when, when your pops wants something, if, if he's joking, he's probably not really joking. So we're gonna go ahead and knock that out, put it over there. Cause I'm gonna run uh, power out to two lights. Let's walk out here, I'll talk about that. Show you what we got going on. Okay, out here we, um, I'm gonna put two, post lights like uh telephone poles with lights on the top of them probably one right kind of where those uh picnic tables are right here and then one kind of equidistant all the way out there on the other side coming up that are shining this way to light up the range area so that you know in the summer sometimes i mean not summer in the fall and winter it gets dark 5 30 it'll be dark out here so i still got plenty of hours that i could be out here if I want to be. So let's get some light so we can get that handled. So that's um, that's the plan. Also, this is super cool. All you nature folks out there. I love how I walked a little bit closer like it's going to make any difference. But you see this tree. Where are we looking? There's a big tree right here. And it's dead. You see the top? Can I zoom in on this thing? There's no growth on it whatsoever at the top it's a completely dead tree there's another one that's like right there that looks the same and i thought it was dead the whole top of that tree is completely full of buds full of green right now which is awesome because i thought that tree was kaput but this big tree right here is a danger because it's completely dead and branches are breaking out of it and falling on the driveway down here constantly so I'm gonna have to cut that big boy down. And you can't really, I don't, I don't know how much you can tell on here, but that thing is, that is a huge tree. It's one, probably one of the biggest trees on the property. And it's gotta go. All right, that's all I got. I really don't know what else to talk about today. I'm gonna try to figure out how to program these little clickers into the buttons on my truck. So we'll get that done. Uh, then I'll probably go get some, uh, get some lunch, because I'm hungry. I think we might actually have some furniture we found on Facebook Marketplace that I got to go pick up too. Because it's about that time to start getting everything ready. But anyway, thanks for hanging out, guys. I love you. You already know the deal that it's sometimes it's every week. Sometimes it's once a month. It is what it is. At this point, I shouldn't even have to explain myself. But I'm going to go. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this video. I don't know how long it is, but you're welcome for whatever it is. Janae's not here. So just imagine that she's saying bye very awkwardly and very quietly. But for me, you already know the deal. We'll catch you on the next video, guys. That's all, folks. <laughs>